Kathleen Lloyd was born Kathleen Gackel on September 13, 1948, in Santa Clara, California. Kathleen is an American actress known for her role as the female lead in The Missouri Breaks, 1976, opposite Marlon Brando and Jack Nicholson. She also appeared in the horror films The Car, 1977, and It Lives Again, 1978. Lloyd is the daughter of a Santa Maria, California, poultry farmer. She left the University of California, Los Angeles to venture into acting after winning a Hugh O'Brien Acting Award. At number 5. Take Down, 1979. Take Down is a 1979 sports film released by the Buena Vista Distribution Company. It is about an unqualified teacher who finds himself saddled with coaching duties after a small group of high school seniors forms a wrestling team in a last-ditch effort to end a nine-year losing streak against a rival school. At number 4. Incident on a Dark Street, 1973. Fresh out of law school, attorneys Peter Gallagher, David Canary, and Paul Hamilton Jr. Robert Pine joined the Department of Justice under the guidance of no-nonsense district attorney Joe Dubbs, James Olson. At number 3. It Lives Again, 1978. The second and third parts of Larry Cohen's It's Alive trilogy are by turns silly and sublime. It Lives Again, released four years after It's Alive, picks up soon after the original film's conclusion with the monster babies now being born at an ever-increasing rate. At number 2. The Missouri Breaks, 1976. Tom Logan is a horse thief. Rancher David Braxton has horses and a daughter worth stealing. But Braxton has just hired Lee Clayton, an infamous regulator, to hunt down the horse thieves, one at a time. Determined to stop the thefts at any cost, Braxton retains the services of eccentric sharpshooter Robert E. Lee Clayton, Marlon Brando, who begins ruthlessly taking down Logan's gang. At number 1. The Car, 1977. Two bicyclists are run down by a strange black car in the desert near a small town in Utah. But this is just the first in a series of hit-and-run murders. Sheriff Wade Parents, James Brawlin, is called in to investigate, and his deputy, Everett, John Marley, is killed by the black sedan, which, some witnesses say, has no one behind its wheel. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.